dreaded F chord. That is just one way to play the F chord and one of the harder ways to play the F chord. I want you to not be intimidated by the F chord because there's really only three notes to play an F chord. F, A, and C, those are the notes. This chord could be overkill. This chord we've got F, C, F, A, C, F. That's three Fs, two Cs, and an A. We could just play this. We could play this. We could play this. We could play this without the bar. This. 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 We can play this. This. So for the people just starting out, you're gonna get some simple alternatives to this full big F that you might wanna use. And for the people that have been playing the same F over and over, I'm gonna give you a few different options and a couple different approaches. But we're gonna start in this position, and then we're gonna work our way up the fretboard and find all the different ways to play the F chord. Before we get started, if you wanna download the chord charts that go along with this lesson, there's a link to download those for free in the description. Or if you're one of my patrons, you can get access to that as well as all the tab to all of my lessons for as little as $1 a month. You'll also have access to live face-to-face -face video lessons that I host twice weekly, and the link for that is below. If you wanna see more lessons like this where I help you to understand the guitar using fret live animations, go ahead and click the subscribe button and the bell so that you get all the latest and greatest content from Pal Music. All right, let's get into it. So we're gonna start in the first position. So if we played all the notes of the F, two octave chord, we'd have this one. Now we're gonna split it up into different groups of F, A, and C. So starting at the top of the chord, we can do this one. So that just requires us to bar across the first fret on the first two strings and then put the second finger down on the second fret of the third string. Still not very easy. You could play it either with the bar, or you could play it with fingers one and two here, and finger three there. Almost like a D chord fingering. A little different. So that's one option. So you can be going around, let's say you're going C to F. You could do that much easier, right? Sounds good too. All right, so now there's one. Now let's do this one. F, A, C. Okay, this one to me is the easiest. And I like the sound of it. It's not too high, not too low. Now the trick with this one is to mute the high E string with the flesh of your first finger. So this flesh is gonna kinda touch that high E string to deaden it out. And then I'm using the tip of the third finger to deaden out the A string. So you wanna kinda catch this string on the third fret of the D with the lower part of the pad so that the tip is able to mute out the A string. And then you end up not having to be super accurate in your strumming. You can be a little more careless and not worry about hitting that open A or that open E. So that's the hard thing there. Now, if you're having trouble with that, just be more careful to strum those three notes. Now, if by accident you do get that high E, that chord is called F major seven, also a beautiful chord. It doesn't always work though. Okay. Now, let's go to the next triad group. This is also FAC, we've got C, F, A. It's just like an E chord, but up one fret. But now if you're gonna do that voicing, you wanna mute the surrounding open strings, like I talked about, using the tip and the flesh. So you could, let's say you're going from C to that F. right? Totally works. All right, then we can start combining these like this. I'm going to take that group and now I'm going to add that note, the note C. So now I have C, F, A, C. 
So now I've got four pitches. Still only F A C though, because we have C F A C two C's. Cool. Now I can put all of it together that we've done so far, and then I've got that. Or I could do just these four, just the top four, top five, middle four. Okay. Now the last one would be. This F C F A. No bar still though. So this one's nice and low. This is a good one to do, and you just use your first finger to mute out the top two open strings. Totally works if you're having trouble with the bar. All right. So to recap the first position, we've got one. We've got two. We've got three. We've got four. We've got five. We've got six. We've got seven. And then the big shebang, eight. So eight different options there. Now, just when you thought I was done with the first position, uh uh, check out this thumb chord. This is really popular in folk music. So I'm going to play this one, F A C, and then bring my thumb on top to get another F. Now I could also bar these bottom two, or I'll say top two because I'm talking about pitch. So there's ten, ten different ways, and each way at a different fingering. Here's an example: Bob Dylan, "Don't Think Twice, It's All Right," where you would use that. It's especially easy to switch between C and that thumb over F, because all you got to do is keep your first finger down, now if you can't do that, just switch between these two. Much easier, right? You know. Let's move on to the second position. Second position, we have this nice one right here. This is very hard, but this is the D shape F chord. This whole series you could think of as the E shape F chord, right? Because this is like an E. It's like a. It's like an E here, but upper fret. Now this position we think of as the D, and this goes back to the caged. System that you might have heard of. If not, don't worry about it right now. So there's another way to play it. Now, obviously, this is not very practical. So just get rid of that first finger, and that brings us to the fourth position. So now I think we're up to twelve. This one you could totally insert into a regular chord progression. You know, let's do. Say you're doing your C. Totally works. Do a little slide in. All right, so I believe that's 12. All right, now we're gonna stay in fifth position, but we're gonna add one more note to that chord. Now we've got a bar. So now we have A, C, F, A. Nice chord. Now let's make that a little simpler. Let's get rid of the bar and just play this one. A C F. I believe that's 13, 14, 11, 12, 14. We're up to 14. Okay, now let's add in the F. So this is the C shape. Look at that, it's like a C chord, a 
imagine this was the nut, like that. Right? Alright, so what is that? 15? I'll have to count these up after. Okay, now, we've got the whole, so that's without a bar. Now with a bar, now we've got five strings. Okay, and we can just do those three as well. So these are all separate fingerings, so I'm calling them separate chords. Oh, and one more over here. Five, one, three, C, F, A. Alright, that brings us to this area. This is the A shape of the chord. So in the A area, we could do just these three on two, three, and four. And that gives us C, F, A. We can do just these three. And that gives us F. A, C. We can put those together like this. For four strings. We can put these middle four together like this. We can put all five together like this. I don't like that voicing, not very practical. Easier on a classical guitar, more space. I like to just go like this. And not, and mute out the high E. You just gotta get the angle of this right so that you're getting these three, but not the high E. It takes a little time to get the feel for it. And then last but not least, we can add in the low E on fret eight, which would give the fifth of the chord, the C, as the bass note. Now some people default to that. They always keep every note possible of the chord without thinking about the bass note. So make an active choice when you play an F. Make an active choice. Do I want the F to be the bass note? Do I want the C to be the bass note? Or do I want the this C. Do I want it a high voicing? Sometimes on guitar, especially electric guitar mixed with acoustic, it sounds really nice to just play the top three strings. You know, if you got a guitar player going, it could be nice to go, you know, play these notes. Or that, just that. All right, so recap that area. We've got, then we've got, then we've got just, then we've got, then we've got, or the entire thing. Very non-practical right there. That's a lot. That brings us to the G position. So if this was a capo, we could imagine the chord like this. This looks like a G, right? So there's the full shebang. Not very practical, but let's split it into pieces. We've got this one, which is real nice. Just bar these four. And play that note on top with the pinky. All right, then we just got these three, which was also the same as over here, so that one doesn't count. <laughs> Then we've got this, one, two, three, like that. You can play it like that. You can bar it. Then we've got the middle four. Then we've got the lowest three. Then all of that. And then we can just do these. That one's not too bad. All right. And then obviously we can go back up the neck. So I guess the moral of the story is 
the F chord is just three notes, F, A, and C. It doesn't have to be this. All right, everybody, I hope after this lesson, you'll have some new ways to play the infamous F chord. If you want to see more lessons like this, where I help you to understand the guitar using fret live animations, go ahead and click the subscribe button and the bell so that you get all the latest and greatest content from Pal Music. All right, happy playing, and I'll see you guys in the next lesson. Mm -hmm.